Why explore space? Who cares about missions to Mars when we've got skyrocketing rent? Who needs a moon train when your commute to work keeps getting longer? Why give so much money and time to discovering other planets when there are still so many problems here on this one? That was the question posed in 1970 to Dr. Ernest Stuhlinger, then Associate Director for Science at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. The question came in a letter from Sister Mary Jacunda, a nun who spent her days caring for starving children in Zambia. Today, this letter is still a pretty big moment in space history. Dr. Stuhlinger was deeply touched by Sister Mary's letter. In his reply, he made an argument for the benefits of space exploration that is no less powerful now. Because like Sister Mary, we can't always see those benefits in our daily lives. A helicopter on Mars sounds pretty cool, but it doesn't get you to school on time. Hello, I'm Dr. Stribling, and this is Space for Humans. You've probably heard people ask questions like Sister Mary's. Maybe you are the one asking, why space? Why spend money on the moon or Mars when we've got the Earth right here, right now? In his 1970 reply to Sister Mary, Dr. Stuhlinger starts by explaining how space exploration can help us tackle challenges on Earth. Orbiting satellites could help monitor and improve food production across the planet, and better international relations would help speed food distribution. Basically, he argued space exploration would both optimize agriculture and support peace. Two things that would help alleviate the suffering Sister Mary wrote about. And then, Dr. Stuhlinger tells a story. For this part, we'll need a little help from the Space for Humans Puppet Theater. There once was a wealthy count who lived in a great big castle above a village. And in that village was a man who liked to look through glass at things that were too small for the human eye to see. The count didn't really understand what this guy was up to, but he gave him money so he could continue his experiments. And that made the villagers very angry. You see, the villagers were suffering from the plague. They wanted to know why the Count was wasting money on this man's weird hobbies, and also why he only came out at night, and why he was impossibly fast and strong. Thank you, Space for Humans Puppet Theater, although I think those last two attributes were probably from the movie Twilight. You can guess where this is going. The man looking at tiny things through glass was building a rudimentary microscope. The villagers couldn't see the direct impact of his work at the time, and neither could the Count, or even the budding scientist. But today, we know just how much the microscope has helped us understand illness and improve healthcare. The ability to see and identify otherwise invisible bacteria was a profound leap forward, but it started as one small step into the unknown. In the story, the villagers didn't understand how one goofy guy's time spent looking down could possibly benefit them. Sound familiar? Maybe sometimes we're the villagers and we don't understand the benefits of looking up. Because here's the thing, a lot of the Benefits of space exploration are just like those bacteria to the human eye, invisible. When the city builds a new subway line connecting you to downtown, you see the benefit. Maybe you spend less money on gas. Maybe your commute now includes 50% less road rage and 50% more true crime podcasts. Maybe you now have easy access to places you didn't before, from medical facilities to libraries to restaurants and museums or even farmer's markets. Those are visible benefits of visible infrastructure. We can all see public transit and we can see who has has access to it and maybe who doesn't. But so much of the way that space exploration benefits us is invisible because so much of space innovation and infrastructure is invisible. Think of all the ways Earth observation satellites and communication satellites improve your life every day. They connect our smartphones to social media, all right, sure, brain rot, not necessarily a benefit. They give us directions so we can easily get around town, and maybe they even provide the broadband connection that allows us to watch educational YouTube videos about space. And those are some big benefits. But to 
us, those satellites are no bigger than any other twinkling light in the night sky. Like the story of the count and the microscope, space exploration helps us advance scientific knowledge and develop new technologies. And those have real, direct benefits to all of us back on Earth. Thanks to space industry innovations, we have better baby formula, safer football helmets, and more knowledge about how to fight cancer. So why space? Well, to paraphrase John F. Kennedy and later Lady Gaga, because space exploration reminds us you can do hard things. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Space for Humans. I don't understand why that line is in there. Why is it even farmer's markets?